Hello everyone, it's Christine and we're back for our stitch along and we're working on chain stitch variations. So we'll be doing a twisted chain stitch um, as part of today's episode and I've already done a little row of it there now. It was with quite a fine um, crochet yarn so I'm thinking I'll use this slightly thicker yellow one to, to demonstrate it to you. So we're going to pop out like we normally would um, with a thread that has um, a knot tied at the back so the knot will catch at the back and then we're going to take our needle and put it back in but put it back in just slightly next to where we um, came out of the fabric and we're going to angle our needle so it comes across and it will come down and poke out um, in the row of where where the thread is so it's actually coming on a diagonal across if you can see that and then we're going to pull it through. Hopefully our thread won't knot. And what you can see is you're getting a little twist or a little sort of almost like a little um, dash there. And so we're going to do the same again. We're going to um, take our needle and just pop it into the fabric just across from where the, the thread is, where it came out of the fabric. And then we're going to bring it on the diagonal across and keep it in the, the line. Um, let's see if I can go straight when I don't have an actual line to follow. So as you can see, we're going again on just on that little diagonal and always coming through so we get the, the loop that makes the, the chain stitch. And again, you're just getting that nice little twisted effect. So again, I'm going to put my needle in. I'm going to hold the thread so I am getting because um, you want your, your needle to be popping up on the diagonal inside of that, that loop of thread, as it were. So like that, pushing it through. And again, just getting that nice little, little twist. So I definitely do like this with the slightly thicker because you can really see that nice little extra twisted detail. So it is good fun to play around with different, different weights of different weights. Let me just take that over there, making sure I stay on camera. So again, just coming over about the same distance and you can do it at whatever distance you really want. Um, you can keep it consistent or you could vary it if you wanted um, a more varied look. Anything goes in the world of stitching. Well, the world of slow stitch, maybe not in the world of precision, precision embroidery, but in the world that I like to play in, which is the slow stitch world, it's about keeping it loose and free. So again, just popping in next to where the thread came out, bring it over, bring the needle over on the diagonal as it goes forward a bit, just trying to get it the distance I want it. And then pulling it through to make that nice little loop. Just that same motion, one after another. And you're just getting that lovely little twisted effect amazing the, the just that little bit of difference just that yeah taking the needle down in a different point and poking it out on an angle just gives you gives you that effect and that just with a simple stitch like chain stitch that you can have so many different different variations of it this is definitely proving to be a yeah just a really really great project for me just to expand out and add things um, and really sort of yeah taking those base stitches that we might all know um, but then just looking at different ways they they can be used but also just being able to play around with how we sort of angle needles and things sometimes I used to quite often do stitches sort of in individual up and down pokey pokey movements but this has really made me um, think about how to do my stitching more more efficiently So there you go, lovely little twists. It's 
So I'm wondering, seeing where we're only at the five minute mark, we might, if you want, we can, um, I'll tie it off out at the back and we can then do another row above. This five minutes seems a bit too short for, uh, <laughs> for our chatting. I know we'll be going, oh no, not enough time to chat. Chat in the chat when the premiere is showing. I wonder if I should grab another cover to use. Um, just having a look around what I've got readily available to me. This is a thicker blue. Maybe we'll do it, do it down there. See if it will fit through that needle or whether I need to need to grab a different needle. See whether I need my needle that I think Linda called a, a sword. <laughs> the big needle. I think it's going to fit through there. Oops. Just didn't do that knot properly. Okay, where will we do it? Will we do it? Maybe we'll just do it below this one. Keep all our little twisted ones in a row. Popping up and then popping down right next to it and then angling our, just making sure I'm not catching my fabric on the back and not going through the knot. So again, just holding the thread with the finger so you get that little loop and then angling across on the diagonal and pulling it out. Yeah, it looks good even with the thicker, thicker blue. wondering if there's a whipped variation of this one because I think they're going to show us the um, in the book the standard chain stitch whipped but I wonder if you could whip this one I really do like that effect. It gives a really lovely textural element. I mean, chain stitch itself is quite textural, but this just gives you that extra sort of, yeah, sitting, sitting up from the surface. It's quite lovely. Then we'll just pop down. It's really sweet. And a beautiful little um, pattern on the back as well. It's one of those stitches that actually looks good on front and and on back. So I wonder if we could try whipping whipping that one. Let me just grab. I'll change my threads over. Grab the yellow, and we can try and whip the. See how it goes to whip the blue. Whipping where you're sort of, you pop up at either end um, and that's where you anchor to the fabric, but then you're actually just sort of weaving the thread through um, the stitches. Or maybe actually, maybe I will use, maybe I will use the brown, or well not the brown, the sort of beigey, beigey colour. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Bear with me as I thread tonight, but we're still only at the, the nine, nine minute, almost 10 minute mark, so not keeping you too long. And let's add an extra variation to our stitching if we can. So I'm going to pop up, where will I want to pop up? What am I going to, maybe I'll pop up about here. 
And then I'm going to just, I think, take myself through. I might want to use the other end when you're whipping so you don't skewer your so you don't skewer your thread. If I just go through each of the loops. So that's just going to put a line through it, isn't it? It's going to sort of just run a just a line that passes through but almost like a vine growing growing up something so that's one way to integrate a thread in so I can anchor that down at this end and then I'm wondering is there another way to actually pop out again? And so if I went under the under ones, so I'm now just poking out under each under stitch where the wrap is on the top. Just have to keep an eye on where I'm actually, where I'm up to in the the process under that one then been under that one so now I go under this one under this one under that one under that one and then under that one and so that's given us a multi wrapped um, that's worked quite well actually yeah I like that and using the thinner thread it's almost like a little a little highlight on it and then I imagine you could actually pop up and then come back the other way let's see it won't take us long multi-directional whipping Oh no, so that's going to take us, that will just give us a thicker strand this way. Interesting. But I quite like that, so I'm going to keep doing that. Experimenting. down so that is our um, <laughs> experimental whipped stitch so we've got one that runs down like a so if you wanted to create a vine wrapping around something that was that first um, variation that we did and then um, yeah creating the lovely lovely wrapping effect intertwining effect with the whipping whipping stitch so adding our own little twist, I hope you um, liked that and I'll see you back tomorrow for chain stitch alternating. Thanks for watching folks, take care, bye.